welcome to The Green Building Show, where we investigate green design and building trends throughout Australia. So natural ventilation is all about um, being able to um, condition the space within your home um, based on, on natural um, conditions, so on ambient air temperature, on, uh, on wind direction, those sorts of things. Now, the Illawarra Flame was originally a three-bedroom fibro home, and it was uh, it was quite compact. Um, it was you know had, had lots of small bedrooms, and, and um, the windows um, weren't adequately um, positioned or spaced. Mm -hmm. So um, we set about firstly um, trying to improve the, the cross flow ventilation through the home. So to do that, we actually um, removed one of the bedrooms and we made a, a fairly open um, living, dining and kitchen area. And then to improve that cross flow ventilation, um, we put bifold doors on both the front and back, um, allowing um, you to open up the entire home to allow um, to air airflow right the way through. Um, we also, in the bedrooms, we actually added another window on each of the um, on adjacent wall faces to the original, uh, the original windows. So this allows um, cross ventilation. Um, almost irregardless of the wind direction, um, just based on uh, on windows on opposing faces. So that's um, drastically imp uh, improved the ventilation of each of those bedrooms. Fantastic. Um, some other things that we've done, we've actually uh, we raked the ceiling over the of the living area, um, and this allows natural ventilation on cool, still days when there's no wind outside, um, and that that occurs through the buoyancy effect. So essentially, hot air rises. So through this clear story and operable um, high level windows. Um, air can, can draw through and cool the home in that way. One of the key goals with uh, natural ventilation is it to improve indoor air quality. So when the weather conditions are uh, favourable, we like to open our windows. Everybody does that. It's a natural thing to do, particularly in Australia. And so that basically um, leads to a good air change rates, you get lots of fresh air in the building. So natural ventilation doesn't happen just by accident. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to get good airflow through a, a house or a larger building, the house needs to be designed appropriately so that you have windows and doors on preferably opposite sides of the building. And um, so that uh, wind pressure will drive airflow through the building or you have uh, windows at low level and high level so if the house is hotter inside and there's no wind uh, so hotter than outside you'll get um, uh, buoyancy flow or stack flow through those windows now what we did with the illawarra flame was we actually applied uh, some very advanced uh, engineering analysis to determine exactly how the air would flow through the building so we used what we call a flow element model to actually build a model of how the airflow is restricted by the different um, openings in the building all the doors all the windows and secondly, we did some computational fluid mechanic analysis. So some of the students looked at how the air flows over the building. And that uh, really told us a, a lot of detailed information about the pressures on the outside of the building. And that in turn determines how the air flows through the building. Well, one of the key things is to have uh, windows and doors, openable areas on opposite sides of uh, the building, if mm -hmm. possible, or at least on two sides of any um, space. The second thing is to be aware of your own microclimate. So the way in which the wind um, operates uh, or flows around your building depends on where you're located in general terms and where, where the prevailing wind comes from. Right. So if you're close to the coast, you get those afternoon sea breezes, but in other places, um, the wind will come from other directions. So you need to ensure you've got openable areas or openable windows and doors uh, to take advantage of those uh, weather conditions. Well, that depends on your climate. So um, natural ventilation is only going to help 
uh, if you've got favorable weather conditions. If it's a 45 degree day outside, then you don't want to open your windows, basically. You want to keep all that hot air out. Right. So, and if you're in a climate uh, in, uh, in uh, central Australia, for example, where you might go many of those hot days, obviously you're gonna to need to um, rely on air conditioning. Okay, so natural right. ven ventilation um, is, is there to help when the weather conditions are favorable. Um, even on hot days, uh, in a lot of uh, Australian climates, at night time it'll be cool. So you want to open up your house. If it's a passive, uh, passive solar designed house, you, you take advantage of um, any time that the build, building's uh, gonna be cooled naturally. And in summer that would be overnight. And similarly in winter, uh, if the daytime temperatures are, uh, are quite warm, you want to, uh, um, open your house up and, and let the building absorb that heat, close the ha house up at night time and the thermal mass within the building will um, help in keeping the building comfortable. Over. So a key, um, a key aspect of passive design is actually is draft stripping or, or um, air tightness. So you want to um, try and keep your home as airtight as possible. Um, and open it up when you need to open up. So when you actually close it down, when you close your windows, you want it to be tight, uh, airtight. Mm -hmm. um, and this prevents, um, for instance, hot air coming in when you're trying to cool the home or hot air going out of the house when you're trying to actually heat it. Um, so having an airtight home will actually drive down um, your energy bills, essentially, um, and, and keep your, your space conditioned um, thermally uh, where you want it. So um, some of the key things that we've done in our home is ensuring that all the windows are actually sealed tightly um, when they're closed. So we've got um, all the windows have, uh, have seals all the way around them. Um, also the way we've actually installed the windows into the home is, is quite, quite special. So um, the building envelope is sealed um, right to the window mm -hmm. and then the window seal against that. So no air can come in or out um, through that barrier. Um, all of our insulation on the home is also um, carefully sealed to prevent leaks um, and wind coming in. But um, the simple things you can do for a normal home homeowner that has a leaky house is putting um, draft strips on their door, so um, raven seals or something like that, mm -hmm. to prevent um, you know wind coming in and um, and out from underneath your underneath your doors. Um, you can also retrofit seals to your windows um, and your doors, um, and you can just go around and, and, and bog up any holes that you might have in your house, and that'll that'll drastically uh, improve um, the air tightness of your home and, and uh, make it thermally more comfortable.